Brooks, you play Doug Johnson, Abby Johnson's real life husband. What characteristics did you see in him when you read the script that spoke to you? I think Doug and I are very relatable. Um, from the, the words on the pages, he, he just came across as a, a really good guy, like just a fun guy, um, loved his family. Um, something about him, you know, there was just the, the qualities that to still love Abby and everything that, you know, going through her job situation with, you know, it just stood out to me that he, he was, a, he, he knew where he stood as a husband, as a father. And, and I feel like that's, that's relatable for me and personally. And then just, um, you know, I, I think there, he's got the, a little bit of lighthearted element to him that I probably think I, maybe mine's not as good, but I like to think I bring that to the home as well. So I, reading it, I just thought this is, you know, this would be a great gift because it's very relatable. You're a father and a husband and you're expecting your wife who's expecting a new baby. How does this hit you as far as the whole story and what's going on with the women and the babies? And it's, it's, words don't do it justice. It's very powerful. Um, we have an eight month old and then she's 21 weeks tomorrow with our second one. And, you know, we, uh, we knew where we stood before this project ever started and just, um, it, this project has helped only cement that for us. But um, we, we come from a past where we, uh, before we knew each other, we were broken in different ways and, and God brought us together in it to restore us, and to make true beauty from ashes. And um, part of her past is, is she was told she would never have children. And that, you know, she would have to go through alternative means to, to have a family one day. And, uh, we came together, we, we prayed together, we prayed over a womb and here we are <laughs> a year apart with two of them. So yeah, it, Life means a lot to us, and our family means you no know, more than anything to us. So it, it's important for us to help be a part of something like this to hopefully give that same sort of feeling to others as well. How important is this film for hope and healing for so many people? We, we truly believe it will. We want it to be presented and come across to those that are dealing with either going through something in the, an abortion in their past or thinking about like, it is about hope and healing. It's about conviction, grace, love, mercy, you know, the things that we all, we all need, <laughs> you know, are not separated from without God's love. And it's not about condemnation. It's not about judgment or finger pointing. We want them to hear it and to, to see Abby's story firsthand and say, there's no reason that can't be me as well. And you know, they don't have to live in shame. They don't have to live in isolation or, or, or believe a lie that they have to try to tell themselves to justify getting through each day. Like they can truly find hope, healing and redemption in a way that they probably don't think is possible. And hopefully this film can do that on a scale that we won't even be able to measure. So. Absolutely. Was there a particular scene in the movie that really spoke to you? Um, there's a moment in the movie where Abby is, is ready to make a lifestyle change and she's kind of just um, breaking down and opening up and, and telling Doug, you know, she's ready. And um, just the, the magnitude of the truth behind everything she had been through as she pours it out and uh, is, is Doug and, and being the husband right there you know, it's, there's probably a lot of things that you would want to have follow-up questions on or, or, or just, you know, counter with, but, you know, all you can really do is just hold her and love her and protect her and let her know that it's gonna be all right. And that, you know, to be at that point where she's at means that the, the future is gonna be a lot better than the past. So that's pretty impactful.